the last video, you created Card Super View. By the end of this part, that's going to hold a flashcard that has two sides and can spin around when tapped. But you're using Card Super View in the storyboard. That's a different file than the Card View nib. How can you set up an IB action so that when a card side is tapped, its Super View can be notified? This is where Files Owner comes in. It's a placeholder object that nib files have. It isn't an object that gets loaded with the nib. Instead, you'll be creating it through some other means. Momentarily, you're going to set Card Super View as the Card View nib's owner. By the end of the course, you'll be using multiple Card Super Views throughout the app. But for now, you've just got one. It gets created by way of your main storyboard. You've already set that Card Super View to be the owner of the nib in your code, but you're not making use of that yet. The first step in changing that is to make Card View a UI control instead of just a UI view. That will allow us to hook up its touch events using IB Actions. In the Card View nib file, select Files Owner. And in its Identity Inspector, set its class to Card Super View. Now open up Card Super View in the Assistant Editor. Right click drag from the front view in the document outline and create a new IB action in Card Super View. Name it Handle Tap. And set the type to Card View. Make sure that's not Front Card View because later on this method will be handling Back Card Views as well. Set the event to Touch Up Inside and verify that Sender is set for arguments. When the card is tapped, we want it to flip. But right now, we don't have a way to model what side we're looking at. Let's fix that in CardView.Swift. There, define a nested enumeration, CardViewSide. You just need two cases, front and back. Every CardView instance is going to have a side, so define that here. But CardView itself is abstract and doesn't have a side, so just use fatal error in its get accessor. In front card view, override that to return front. Now in the parent card view class, we're ready to define a flip method which takes an optional side. Call UIView.Transition and start with the card view itself. For now, you don't have a better option than transitioning to self as well, but you'll fix that later on after you've got a back view set up. Set the duration to 0.35 and the options to a set of Transition Flip from Right and Show Hide Transition Views. You don't need anything for completion. Now, back in Card Super View, call sender.flip in Handle Tap. Build and run. Now, there's an animation, but unless the card is the same on the front and back, it's not much of a flip, really. You'll start making this more exciting in the upcoming challenge. For now, you've successfully hooked up your files owner. Let's do a little setup work which will support your challenge and everything else to come. It's going to be handy to be able to access the child card views from within Card Super View. For that, you can use a computed property. Add it at the top of the class. Subviews is a UI view array. Force cast it to the card view array you know your subviews will be from loading the nib. Now, underneath Handle Tap, define a method to set the card associated with the card super view. For now, please take our word that a card view side and a Boolean dictating whether to flip or not when the card is set will be useful. You won't need these other two parameters quite yet, but you can't add parameters with a swift refactoring in Xcode, so it's easier to just set them up now. 
The main thing you need to do when a card gets set is to assign it to the card views so they can visibly update. And although the card super view handles taps for its subviews with a flip, you'll need to respond to the tap in another class as well. For that, you can store a closure. Head back up to the top of the class to create that. Call it handle flip and make it optional. For a parameter, it'll need to take a card view side, which represents the destination of the flip. Closures can't have argument labels, so using the underscore and parameter name makes it clearer what the side represents. And for right now, all you can flip to is a front side. Notify that you did that in handle tap. If you were to build and run again right now, you wouldn't see any change. But you're all set to address that in the challenge.